One of my videos on my DJ channel is absolutely killing it with more than 2500 views a day. The first reason I see for this is over the last five years I've made multiple videos around the same topic. This video is about the best DAW, that is software for music production. So the algorithm by now knows who my audience is for DAWs and has an easier time to finding similar views to the ones that enjoyed and watched my videos before. YouTube gurus call this reputation in the algorithm. And I can clearly see this by looking at some of my other videos, for example, my video about chord progressions or my video about melodies. And I know that the interest is there because when I look at the first search result over here, I can see 1.7 million views. But for that to happen, I need to make more videos about how to make melodies and chords, etc. I've said multiple times on this channel that you should focus on YouTube search and focus on keywords that you can actually rank for as a small channel. The video that I'm talking about right now is a video that was primarily focused on YouTube search on the keywords best doll. And look what happened to YouTube search. YouTube search is the blue line over here and the green line is browse features or YouTube home. And for quite some time, YouTube search was its main traffic source. Now see what happened here. YouTube search got a bump. Then the algorithm learned from that, knows better what kind of audience that is interested in this video. And once it knows that, it starts to promote the video on YouTube home. And this continues. And now it has even surpassed YouTube search as main traffic source. And at first I couldn't figure out why YouTube Home because YouTube Home didn't work as much for me in my previous video in 2018. And then it hit me, viewer satisfaction. When I look at the audience retention graph of my first video, it's not bad, but certainly not great. That is a totally different story on my new video. The line in my audience retention graph is pretty flat, meaning that I keep viewers in the video. I see a couple of reasons for that. First of all, the time tail content is exactly 10 seconds. Second, it's a top six listicle video, meaning that I start at number six and I build up to number one. So that gives an attention span in the video. Number three, there is a lot of B-roll in the video, even more so than A-roll and everything in the video moves, even the screen recordings of software. Number four, there is a lot of tempo in the video. And number five, humor. Even if you're not entirely into the content of the video, you'll probably watch it until the end because you want to see all the funny antics. I contribute a lot of the success of this video to the clickability of the title and thumbnail. The title and thumbnail in this case do two things. It creates a mystery, an intrigue. Why are the question marks there? Why the awe face? What's so awe about that? And the fact that I tease information that the competition doesn't have. I ask 2000 producers. And when viewers constantly click on my thumbnail instead of the competition, YouTube eventually will rank it number one. This pyramid represents our views versus our expertise. At the bottom of our pyramid, we have our beginners and the beginners topics have the most search traffic simply because there are more people searching for topics than in the median category and even less people searching for stuff that is in the expert category. Most creators on YouTube make videos about the upper two categories but not in the lower categories. In other words you have more search traffic over here and less competition. And on top of that beginners are the subscribers that are with you the longest on your channel simply because they have the most to learn. Although the video is a beginner's topic, because of my title and thumbnail, I pique an interest of a broader audience. In this case, experienced music producers higher up in the pyramid that just want to know what the rest voted. I knew from previous videos that music producers are very religious about the software they use and want to tell everybody that they should use the software that they use. And I took advantage of that by asking viewers to share their favorite software in the comments. And this worked so well that I now have a hard time keeping up with all the comments. And I know it's a luxury problem. YouTube is all about viewer satisfaction and watch time. By looking at the comments of my previous videos, I knew what people wanted to know most. So what I did is in between the positions number five, four, three, two, and one, I added extra tidbits of information that I knew that people wanted to know. This way, viewers are more satisfied with the video and watch longer. This is Dexter from the future. I'm editing the video right now and I see that the views of this video have gone up. 
Now it's at 6,000 per 48 hours, that is 3,000 a day. Let's take a look at click-through rate. In the beginning, the click-through rate was okay. Then it got higher, then it went down steadily, and over here the video blew up. Purely based on click-through rate, not looking at views, I would have said over here that it was a very good title and thumbnail, but over here I would have said it was a very bad title and thumbnail. But the title and thumbnail in the meantime didn't change. And this is why you shouldn't use click-through rate as a comparison symmetric between video A and video B. If you play your cards right, one video can blow up your whole channel. And I see other videos on my channel pop up as well. You can already prepare your small channel for that today. First of all, make more videos around the same topic. If one of those videos blows up, viewers can find more videos like this on your channel. And the YouTube algorithm helps viewers with that by showing more of those videos on YouTube Home and hopefully YouTube Suggested. You can make it easier for viewers to watch multiple videos of you in a row. For example, by adding links to other videos in your description and as a pinned comment under your video. Make sure to use an end screen and do a very compelling and strong call to action for viewers to watch the next video. And make sure that you get your audience retention up so viewers keep watching until the end and actually see the end screen. I have a big library of videos so there is actually something to watch and to backtrack for viewers if they liked your current video. And make sure that your titles and thumbnails are actually compelling to click so you can get viewers over to other videos. I'll show you step by step how to do that in this video right here. Thank you for tuning in and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.